Hi, welcome to On Point TV. We're gonna start a new segment called Ask Nancy. So we went to our YouTube videos and we found some of your questions and just thought it'd be fun to answer some of your questions live. Uh, well, okay, not exactly live, but recorded on the videos. So one of the first videos I teach is about anatomy of fabric and I talk to you about the way that I fold my fabric to make it really easy to cut. And one of the very first questions was, well, you were only folding smaller pieces of fabric. What do you do when it's a big, huge chunk of fabric? So I want to show you how I do that. And I love buying big, huge chunks of fabric. I'm all over the clearance racks and really high end quilt shops because then I know that there's really nice fabric, but then I can get big, huge chunks like this at a really nice price. So I recommend you fre frequent the clearance racks of your high-end quilt shops. So here is the big, huge chunk of fabric. I've got it all messed up here. Nothing is pre-folded, but the manufacturer's fold is there and is nice and crisp. And I'm going to use the manufacturer's fold as my center fold. I'm going to start at the left-hand side because I am a right-hander. If you are a left-hander, you would put it the other way and everything would be backwards, but you know how to do that. You've probably been doing it that way your whole life. So for a right-hander, take your chunk of fabric and let that chunk of fabric lay off the end of the table. Then working with the piece or with, so I usually say to use about this much fabric, not the fish was this big amount of fabric, but just enough fabric that you can control it. So about this big, lay it down in front of myself on my board, I've got my nice crease there from the manufacturer and bring the salvage up. So again, it is a half inch from the fold. This is where laying it off the end of the board helps because you can position it to hang off the fold, off the board, continue to smooth it out and start the rolling. Rolling and folding and rolling and folding. When I get to the end, now I'm gonna lift it up, bring my two salvages back together, bring it to the half inch from the fold of the fabric and lay it out onto the table again. So I get a nice big span to work with. Now I wanna show you something else people mention. So I'm gonna roll this a little bit farther. Now as you're going, you will find sometimes it will stop lining up so nicely. So I'm going to go a little extreme here so you can see what I mean. When I lay this down, and I'm going to make it so it's not rolling nice, and I don't know why this happen, happens, but it does. Sometimes you'll be rolling, everything will look nice and neat, and you'll get this bubble. Right? You're like, what do I do with this bubble? And, and it's almost like you think you got to go back, all the way back to the very beginning to straighten it out again. No, you don't. You really don't have to. This is how I do it. And if anybody knows me, this is also how I clean my house. I just sweep it under the rug. And then I continue rolling. Then this is all nice and straight. And it's okay that there's that mess underneath the rug in there because I'm not cutting from that part right now anyway. I'm gonna be cutting from, let me get this straight again. Lay it out on the table. Brushing a little bit here. But there. So now that part that I swept under the rug is way inside here. Now I'm continue to roll. And it's rolling nice and neat again. When I get to the end of this, this is the part that I'm going to be cutting off from, right? I'm going to be cutting off from here. When it gets to the part point in time where I get to where it is that I swept it under the table, under the rug, that's okay. I'll straighten it off and square it up again anyhow. It's all right. So the point of me telling you this is when you're rolling big chunks of fabric, don't worry about if everything doesn't line up perfectly as you go. At some point, you might just need to take a little bit of the extra fabric and sweep it under the rug and keep rolling because the part that you're cutting off is here. You'll get to that part later and be able to straighten it out at another time. So I hope that little tip helped you when you're dealing with large pieces of fabric because when you can get it all rolled and laying in your stash so that it's all nice and neat, it'll make it a lot easier to pull it out of your stash when it's ready to be used. Hope you like that one.